is different sometimes. Um, this is King Tut, and what scientists did is they were able to take his tomb and his skull from within and measure it, and with the computer, rebuild his face made out of clay. So that's probably what King Tut looked like when he lived thousands of years ago. Thousands of years ago. Okay, next one. Does anybody recognize him? Yay! <laughs> Um, and what I'm going to show is just a picture of him, and I don't know that there's anything wrong with his face. But what I'm able to do, yes, you know, so there's nothing wrong with his face, is take it and clean it up a little more. He has a little bit of a mustache, and he kind of has little bags under his eyes, and he has some freckles. So in Photoshop, go ahead. I brought him into Photoshop, go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. And then I pick a sample area, and it's kind of difficult to see on this screen. The sample area is I pick on his face, that's perfect. Not his whole face, but a little face that has no lines or bumps or anything. And I'm able to take that and then copy it over something else. So let's go oh, ahead. Next one. Can you tell what changed between the two pictures? Yes, go ahead. Anybody else? His cheeks, yep. I took off some of the shininess of his cheeks. Again, it's a little, yes. A freckle There's a freckle on his forehead. I got rid of two. Go ahead. Now what I took away So this is what Photoshop can do. I can take away things and I can also add things. Go ahead. Oh. And then to blur his face. Because sometimes you see pictures in magazines or on TV where they look like they almost have a glow around them where they're kind of shiny. I can do that in Photoshop. Go ahead. Just before. Then after. Oh, isn't he cute? Yeah. He's <laughs> super blurry. Okay, next. And this is comparing before and after. I didn't change how he looked. You guys can still recognize who Taylor Lauder is, but I just smoothed out his face a little bit. Okay. And then I added a beard. Because <laughs> it's a werewolf. My daughter hates this one, but as much as I can take away the freckles and lines and anything else, I can add to it. So it is obviously fake and not bad. <laughs> Look at your face. <laughs> Go ahead. And I just more Jacob because you can't do the next one. And anybody else is a Team Ever fan, that's for you too. And there's before and after, where Robert Pattinson looks like normally. His hair is all kind of crazy in his beard. And then afterwards, after Photoshop, and all the different things we can do to make him look perfectly smooth. Okay, go ahead. Now it's your turn.